Yeah, hi folks. Now, as I have recently had some nightmarish problems with the last microphone I was using, I have now gone back to my old one. So today's video is more about testing out the volume, etc., more than anything else. Anyway, yes, Trudeau and Adern are, or at least were, really joined at the hips from Muslim appeasement right through to media control. Have a look at what happened to uh, Rebel News in Canada just the other day. I mean, I know your government paid a terrorist, our homegrown Al-Qaeda guy, 10.5 million, Omar Khadr. Did you support that? David Menzies for Rebel News here in Richmond Hill, Ontario. And folks, I'm standing in front of the Richmond Hill Center for the Performing Arts. You see, this venue is holding a vigil marking the fourth anniversary of the shooting down of Ukrainian International Airlines PS752. Now, you may recall back in January 2020, this flight was shot down over Iran. Some 176 innocent passengers were killed. That includes 55 Canadian citizens, as well as 30 permanent residents, mostly of Persian descent. It also included one unborn child. Now, this was a despicable act of terrorism carried out by the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps, aka IRGC. And folks, four years later, unlike our neighbors to the south, the United States of America, Canada still does not recognize the IRGC as a terrorist group. And that is exactly why I came here today to take in this vigil. We know from previous vigils there'll be politicians of every stripe and every level. And I just wanted to find out if the MP for Richmond Hill, that would be Majid Johari, would dare have the audacity to show his face because he, unlike most of the Persian residents I meet here in Richmond Hill is a supporter of the regime. It's absolutely egregious, but get a load of this. We knew there were some bigger fish than Johari showing up from the federal government, given the amount of security and people walking around with earpieces in their ears. And lo and behold, as we were waiting for Blackface himself, we happened to spot Deputy Prime Minister Christian Freeland, and just will you see what happened. Ms. Freeland, how come the IRGC is not a terrorist group? Why is your government supporting Islamo Nazis? Yeah, now did you see what happened there, folks? This uh, woman deliberately came across in front of the reporter. What? Forcing him to go around and bump into the policeman. All staged, folks. Excuse me, excuse me. What are you doing? You're under arrest for assault. Yeah. Now it's assault. And now that is called assault. All staged, folks, as I said before. I wonder how many times they practiced that one. What, sir? Why are you, you pushing? pushing me? You're under arrest you for assault. Who are you? You're under arrest for I don't assault. Even know. What are you Police. talking about? Police, you're under arrest. How assault. am I under arrest? You bumped into me. You pushed into me. You bumped. Sir. I was just scrubbing. I got my credentials here, and you just bumped into me. So excuse Police, me. Police, you're under arrest. What is your name and your badge number? Come over. What here is your name and your badge number? So you've been told you're under arrest. Why am I under arrest? Come on over here. We've got a couple officers. He 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 blocked my way. Why, I was just scrubbing uh, Christian Freeland. I'm a, I'm a police officer. You're under arrest. What is your name and your badge number? Assaulting a police officer. How is that possible? Officer, I was merely scrumming Minister well, that Freeland. Was, that was very aggressive, what I saw over there. There was lots of pushing and shoving that was happening. Oh, and you were, you with were the running, minister? I didn't were, touch her. You were running in with your microphone. That was very aggressive. You shouldn't be acting like that. What? That, that's how it works. We well, scrum no, that, politicians no, all the time. That's not how it works. That was very aggressive, what was happening over there. You mean I was asking questions aggressively? No, no, your actions were. You were almost pushing everybody over. 
That's how it, that's how it appeared. Link, and you got this on video, right? He's saying I'm pushing people over? That, that, that's an absolute falsehood. There were, there were feet were shuffling. So now it appeared that way. That's what you're saying, officer? It appeared I was pushing people. I wasn't, I didn't touch a single person. That was a little bit aggressive for what was happening. Get that, you got it, you're under arrest. Please take the microphone out of my face. You're under arrest. Can I have the microphone? Can I have the microphone? Can I have the microphone? Can you give? I'm not Take your hand out. Why am I under arrest? I'm just doing my job. Stop resisting. You don't need to resist. The officer, I don't have you don't have to say anything. You want, you know the you know you know the drill. No, I, I have nothing to hide, officer. Welcome to Black Faces Canada. This is what they do to journalists. I was merely scrumming Minister Freeland and a RCMP officer blocked me, and evidently this is now a trumped up charge of assault, folks. I didn't come here to cause any trouble. I came here to do my job, and now I'm handcuffed. This, this is your Canada now, folks. You know, this is the Gestapo taking blackface's orders. Outrageous. And meanwhile, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps is not a terrorist organization. Is not a terrorist organization. And these liberals have the audacity to show up at a vigil for, uh, for a plane in which almost 200 people were killed. 57 Canadians, one unborn child, by the way. And look at this. They don't want, it is against the law in Blackface's Canada to ask insensitive questions. Because they must be trusted with the truth. Um, we will share with you the most up-to-date information daily. You can trust us as a source of that information. Uh, you can also trust the Director General of Health and the Ministry of Health. For that information, do feel free to visit at any time to clarify any room you may hear, covid19.govt.nz. Otherwise... A, gov a Canadian government that props up an Islamo fascist regime, that's okay. But if you ask questions about that, uh, that's not okay. This is an absolute outrage. Thank you. That's fine. Thank you. That is outrageous. That is what's known as a stitch-up, folks. He says that's an assault. You know what? I think it is an assault. I'm getting assaulted. Someone dropped her off behind me. Mm. So she was walking up this way. I was still looking at you. I saw her. I got her on film. I was uh, uh, just about to yell out some questions, and that's when you came, and you started following her back. The other officer blocked you, and you were running. And it's like a... You, you are running, he, he, he blocked you out. And then you are trying to get in. And then after that, I immediately came there. And then I saw that he said you assaulted the police officer. And I was shocked, really. Uh, come on, you jumped front of him. And you are saying it's like a car going straight. Yeah. Then you jump front of the car. You say, oh, you hit me. The York Regional Officer, again, I don't have his name and badge number yet. He said I was being, what, aggressive? I was very aggressive. You shouldn't be acting like that. But what does that mean? I wouldn't dare lay my finger on anyone, much less a female deputy prime minister. So it is in Canada that 
insensitive and impolite questions, those are considered weapons now that you have to be taken out. And if you can imagine, according to the officers, I'll take their word for it, my cameraman Lincoln Jay and I, we are trespassed from the facility. We are asking you to leave under the Trespassing Property Act, okay? Sure. What's your name? It's Ellie. We're supposed to be in there covering the vigil, but we're not. Oh, but the state-sanctioned media, as I saw the CBC news trucks in the parking lot. Is this freedom of speech in Canada right now? That just scrumming a federal cabinet minister is, what, illegal and one must be roughed up, put in handcuffs and shoved into a York Regional Police cruiser. Now, I can tell you the only reason I'm out of that cruiser right now and not in the uh, slammer is that the RCMP officer has declined to press charges. Wow, it's the Christmas miracle, isn't it? I'm and there's more to the story, folks. Uh, we don't have a First Amendment in Canada. Uh, as a matter of fact, Laura, um, the entire mainstream media in Canada has been bought and paid for by the Liberal government. They rely on subsidies. It is a outrageous and egregious a conflict of interest. Yeah. It's a, yeah. It's a state so how media. Can you, how can you expect somebody on the government payroll to cover the government fairly? Yeah, now, folks, please remember, remember to click all the uh, Stopco Governance Truth Tour links below. It's very important we all learn about the treaty, and the Psychology of Takeover booklet is a great place to start.